Hey, New Vision Garage. In the shop tonight with Trans Am, we're going to go over setting free flowing pressure on a nitrous solenoid. Now, this is my first nitrous kit, so I, I'm kind of a dummy when it comes to it. But this regulator that NX sold me said it did not creep, so if you're checking the pressure static, just looking at it, it's going to creep up for the second that you hit the solenoid. You should go down to whatever pressure you set. This isn't just like setting the carburetor, you actually have to remove the line going to the solenoid, put the proper fuel jet from your horsepower rating in there, put it into a jug, turn it on, set the pressure, and reassemble everything. So we're going to do that, and we're going to test it several times. You see, when that gauge starts to creep up there past the setting, it doesn't go right back down to the recommended pressures. Uh, when you activate it. So let's get into it. got the new intake put on, carburetor put back on, went through the carburetor, all new gaskets, all the base settings, checked to make sure everything was tight, everything plumbed back up, throttle back on, return spring, all that good stuff. The nitrous regulator, I did not change it out, but what I did here, so what I did here is, um, this is a 4AN line, then it's a 4AN to 3AN adapter. I put a jet in here, and this is the holder for the jet for the Nitrous Express system. So, put this down in the jug. I'm going to turn, and I've already set it once. We'll see if it held. So, we'll turn the fuel pump back on. It should be between 8. I think I set it closer to 9. 6, 7, 8, 9, yep, but she's still on 9. So, as you can see, she's squirting the fuel around in there pretty good. Again, the jet's right in there for this 150. So what I was told by the... Let me shut that off, it's a little noisy. That kills my power. So I do have the master cutoff back here, and then if something goes wrong while you're racing, you just kind of smack that with your hand, and it kills everything. At any rate, uh, yeah, I went right back to where I was set it under flow. So now I think what I want to test is hook that line back up to the fuel solenoid. I have no nitrous in the system. I don't even have a nitrous bottle hooked up right now but I want to hook it all back up and then I'll take the air cleaner back off a little bit of fuel down there ain't gonna hurt anything and tap the micro switch let it sit let the regulator sit under fuel pressure see if it starts to creep up which I suspect it will but nitrous express people said Oh no, as soon as you activate it, it'll jump back down to wherever you have the regulators set. So let's test that theory. So let me, um, let me get this hooked back up. And I'll pour that fuel back down in the fuel tank. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll, uh, we'll test it. I don't mind a little bit of fuel going down into the carb. It's dry anyways. The intake's dry. We won't, I won't hit it long enough to run a bunch of fuel down it. We'll just tap that micro switch and see if that fuel pressure jumps back down. So let me get it set up and I'll bring you back. All right. So I got the fuel line hooked back up to the solenoid. Um, 
So we'll go ahead and turn the fuel pump back on. As you can see, I got the switch or I got the main switch on for the nitrous, so it's triggering the solenoids. So let me turn this back on, and we'll watch that fuel gauge regulator. Yeah, see it's creeping up. So now, let's see what happens the second that I tap this micro switch does it go right back down to where it's supposed to be it does so while the system is active it does so let's we'll let it go first for a little bit here and see how far it creeps up we're at about 15 but it doesn't seem to be raising a whole lot more. That was a brand new gauge. So, and I do have another gauge I could try if that one. Okay, that's holding about 18. Let's, let's tap this micro switch again and see what happens. So when it clicks, that's, that's, uh, when that clicks, it's wide open throttle. This should go back to about 9 PSI. Yeah, it does. Okay, well, I'm gonna say that's probably okay then. I don't, I don't see what the problem with that would be as long as it goes right back to where it's supposed to be. Um, and X said it would creep up, so. Oh. Hmm. Well, I, I think that's okay. If it isn't, you know, blue bleep it down in the comments here and uh, what you think so it's creeping back up past 18 again um, or if you think I should try a different regulator I do have another regular Holly style that I could put on there with an inline um, gauge so it's just a regular Holly uh, you know, no return style. And this is a no return return style too. This is a deadhead. Um, yeah, it looks like it's creeping back up there at about 20 now. And this is what it was doing in the staging lanes on Sunday that worried me that I was going to have way too much fuel in the system. We'll tap it one more time. See what happens here. Alright, ready? Yeah, goes right back to where it's supposed to. But again, now it's right back up to 20 again. Huh. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I should change this out to a different style regulator. All right, and then uh, I'll bring you back on another video, or maybe this one, um, after I get it started back up and um, get the four corner idle set on the brawler. Now I went through the brawler. Let me turn this pump off. This thing is loud. Now that is a air mode of A1000 pump. Okay, she's at zero now. Let me uh, turn it back on and see what it, oh, it's going to. It's gonna jump probably right back up to 18 where it left off, but we'll try it. about 12 13 14 okay so it's not going to eight but I bet it will once we hit that uh, micro switch man this thing's gonna be so flooded yeah it jumps right back down there so okay 
I'm gonna say that's normal. So that you're all not wondering what the heck I was talking about. This is an adapter that goes from a 4AN to a 3AN female. So the line coming off my regulator feeding the solenoid is a 4AN. So I basically screw that line into there, to tighten it down. This fitting here is what holds the jet. So if this was a fuel jet, you'd stick the fuel jet in there and then screw this down on there. So now you have the fuel jet in there. Stick this down into a jug, turn your pump on and set your regulator to eight to 10 uh, PSI according to Nitrous Express or whoever you're using for um, a nitrous kit. I talked to the rep at Nitrous Express. He did say for each different horsepower level that you put in, check the fuel valve same way. So set your regulator. So this may be like a 32 for, a, I don't know, 100 shot or something. The one I have in it might be like a 57 or something like that. So he said check them. He said they should be pretty close, but you know, if you have this readily available, just screw it in, put your jet in there, throw it in a, one of your empty fuel jugs or whatever, and, and um, set it between 8 and 10. So I'm going to say that's good, but again, if it isn't, just uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Techline is saying that their regulator, this one here, that was recommended for my nitrous kit, is they're saying it's super fast acting. Well, it kind of is. I, I could see where they were saying that. Because as soon as I tapped that micro switch, it jumped right back down to 9 PSI where I had it set. So they may, you know, that might be an accurate statement through them. I'm not trying to question the, the manufacturer here. I'm just want to make sure things. I'm not doing something wrong here with this kit. I've never used nitrous before. Uh, you know, it is what it is. So if you like this content, uh, give me a like, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever. Help me to grow my channel. What Byron's schedule is, or even Tri State, if they're about an hour from me down to Tri State. Get this thing out and run a 150 shot through it to see what it would have run on Six Summer had I not made a bunch of changes and then didn't test them. Basically, well, this is New Vision Garage signing off. Until next time, take care of yourself.